Hey, how you doing? This is Ross Fortune from SecretSchoolOfSound.ie. Going to be doing a short tutorial on how to beat match in Logic 9. So I'm using two tracks. The first is by Underworld, the second is by Trent Mahler. Both pretty, uh, sorry, straight up techno tracks. Okay, with a constant BPM, it's going to make this whole exercise easier. So the first thing I need to do is find out uh, roughly the BPM of each track. So I'm going to use Logic's BPM counter. Okay, so just play through a few bars. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the figure of 130 there. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that BPM counter onto the second track and have a listen. Okay, so that's giving me a nice round 132. So the first one was 130, second was 132, so I'm setting the track tempo, the project tempo, to a happy medium of uh, 131 in between the two. So now uh, what i got to do is find a little two-bar selection. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just going to isolate two bars of the first track to work with. Uh, and you'll understand why now in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to cut to the very start, the first kick is going to be beat one, bar one of my track. Okay. So that's aligned up perfectly on, on beat one, bar one. And I'm just going to make a little two bar selection of it. I'm going to find exactly where that kick that will be the first one of bar three will begin. I'm going to split there again. I'm going to cut the rest of that track. So I'm just working with this little two bar section. Okay, so it comes over um, bar three. I want that to line up perfectly, so I'm going to use flex mode. Um, using polyphonic mode because it's a complex track with several instruments. Just going to make sure flex is turned on in the inspector. Then I'm going to option resize. So uh, I'm holding the option or the alt key on the keyboard, then resizing this guy, which actually compresses or stretches the region then when you drag it around. So I'm going to resize it so that it fills up perfect three bars like that. Then, um, if I hit, listen to it with the metronome, it should be... Okay, so that's pretty spot on. That's good stuff. So now I know it's roughly at uh, 131 BPM. So when I bring out the rest of the track, I know that I, that's going to slip out because it's not very precise. So what you're going to have to do... So it starts losing it quite quickly. What you're gonna have to do is place flex markers uh, every few bars, not too many. But we're, what we're doing is just mapping the beats, make, dragging it in as it goes out of time. You're gonna have to just map those beats again to make sure it doesn't slip too far out. So you can skip on a good few bars. Zoom back in here. Make sure this guy's lined up. Okay, so I mean you're gonna have to do it about every 10-ish bars or something like that just to make sure that it's not slipping too far out so you're gonna have to go through the track route basically and do that all the way to the end so that you've got a nice smooth beat match track so I'm gonna do the same thing again with the with the Trent Waller track now finding First kick, cutting the region there, making that my starting point, lining that up with beat one or whatever beat it might be. Okay, so it starts perfectly. The first kick, beat one bar one. Then isolating a little two bar section of that, just like I did with the last track. So two, three. That'll do. So I'll use up to 295. I'm going to zoom in, catch the first kick, what will be the first kick of uh, bar three. Split again, get rid of that bit, make sure flex mode is on, then drag, option, option drag the end of this region so that it fills out a perfect two bars. Okay, so again, that should have me in time with the click. Good stuff. 
Then pull out the rest of the region. So I'm dealing with the rest of the track now. And place those um, warp markers every now and again, just to make sure we don't lose too, time too much. This one seems to be a bit more successful. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky with this one. It's not really slipping out of time very much at all. Uh, so that's how you go about beat matching in Logic. It's a little bit time consuming, a little bit fiddly. Uh, but you can now play these two tracks side by side. And they should sound perfectly in time. So I'll pan this guy over there. Okay, so they should be perfectly beat matched. Uh, thanks for listening. I've been Ross Fortune from secretschoolofsound.ie.